perhaps three big ones coming up. As Ali already mentioned, on the 27th of this month, that's out on Monday night also, Kennedy and Holy Cross square off at the Kennedy Gym, and on the 29th, Kennedy and Sacred Heart at the Kennedy Gym. And boy, those will be two big ball games to wind up the season. Center tap, the ball is what for picked up by Sacred Heart, stolen by Holy Cross. Kelly Monroe stole the ball right out of uh, uh, Henry Brown's hands, and the Crusaders come up with the first steal of the ball game and the first turnover for Sacred Heart. Shot in the side is missed by the Hearts. Follow-up shot is up by Kenny and good. Bobby Kenny. And now the game is being halted because of a whole host of streamers and papers, paper cuttings and paper clippings thrown out on the floor by the very enthusiastic Holy Cross Rooters. Well, time will be called momentarily while they get the debris off the floor to make sure none of the players slip and fall on it. Could cause an injury. Now players resume. Sacred Heart with the ball. Anthony Perry gets the ball in the forecourt. Holy Cross sets up their 2-1-2 zone defensively. Holy Cross scored the first hoop and lead 2-0 in the forecourt at the far side. Craig Wood in the corner to Henry Brown. Brown not too closely guarded. They haven't been guarding Henry too closely. And in the forecourt it comes out this side on the near side corner. Dave Frank cross court over the far side to Craig Wood. Wood with the ball. The far side corner to Calvin Glenn now. Out it comes to Craig Wood over this side to Anthony Perry. Perry with the ball looking around. Bounces once then passes cross court over to Craig Wood. Now to Dave Franks over this side to Perry. Perry to Henry Brown. Shoots it up and swish. Henry Brown dropped in a 12 footer from the corner. And ties the ball game up at two. How often do you get two teams. Especially two Catholic teams of the city. So evenly matched as these two ball clubs appear to be. What a rivalry this is this year. In the forecourt, shot by Lombardo. Good from the outside. Frank Lombardo, who's developed another, another batch of uh, debris, goes out on the floor. And, of course, the, uh, the officials are going to warn the uh, fans to stop throwing debris out on the floor because it stops the ball game. And, of course, that is only fair. They don't mind one outburst. But they uh, continue to do that after every Holy Cross basket is scored, and you got problems. In the forecourt come the Hearts quickly now. Long pass in the forecourt to Brown. Brown to Wood. Wood holding the ball. Cross court over the far side, Anthony Perry. Perry with the ball. Deep on the midcourt now. Holy Cross leads 4-2. to two. Almost two minutes have gone by here in the first quarter. Very low scoring ball game. Pass to Calvin Glenn. Glenn closely got it. Pass over this side to Anthony Perry. Perry. Back outside the foul circle to Craig Wood. Over this side to Perry in the corner. Driving the baseline. Passes off and the ball is stolen by Kelly, uh, Kelly Monroe. And that's two steals that Kelly Monroe's got already in this ball game. Crusaders on the move. Down over the middle to come into the forecourt. Shooting in the basket to the right. Over the far side. Shot is up and missed by uh, Bob Kenny. The rebound picked up by the Hearts. The lead pass down court to Henry Brown. Shoots it up and in. Four to four, and Henry Brown's got all four of the Sacred Heart points. Five and a half minutes left to go in the first quarter. In the forecourt, Bobby Kenny driving all the way in, banks it up short. Rebound by Henry Brown. Brown with the ball, lead pass in the forecourt to Anthony Perry. Perry driving outside the foul circle over the far side of Craig Wood. He said, shoots it up, no good. Rebound is picked up by Frank Lombardo. Lombardo loses control of the ball, picks it up again in the backcourt, still in the backcourt. Now gets it down over the middle. Hart set up there, 2 1 2 zone defense. Over the far side, it goes to Steve Northrup. Now outside the foul circle. Over this side, it comes to uh, Chris Stack. Stack to Monroe. Shoots it up, misses. Rebound picked up by Dave Franks. Franks to Craig Wood. Wood to Perry. Drives in, lays it up, and good. And the Hearts go ahead for the first time in the ballgame, 6 to 4. In the forecourt over the far side. Bobby Kenny with the ball in the fourth court corner quickly. Passes back out. Out it comes out near midcourt now to Frankie Lombardo. Lombardo with the ball over the near side in the corner to Stack. Stack's pass is knocked out of bounds and awarded to the Crusaders. Six to four the score. Now Henry Brown going to be given a rest. Eddie Generale doesn't want to take too much of a chance on taxing the youngster. Coming in to replace him is uh, Ozzie Majo. Ball knocked out of bounds on the shot from the corner is missed. And Sacred Heart gets the ball. Hearts are playing a much better ball game in the first quarter tonight than they did in the last game against the Crusaders. Well, he's told you in the fourth quarter. Ball stolen by Lombardo. 
Lombardo driving in, shoots it up and good, and he was fouled on the play. Frank Lombardo, he's a five foot ten inch junior, very very fast, both on his feet and with his hands, made a fine steal. That uh, turned over into a basket for the Crusaders that Lombardo made. He was fouled in the act of shooting. He'll get one from the free throw line. So Lombardo has a chance to put the Crusaders ahead, and he does. 7-6 Holy Cross leading. Four minutes, 15 seconds. That's a play pass all the way down court to Calvin Glenn, and he slam dunks it. Oh, and I think that Calvin Glenn must have gotten rid of a lot of frustration on that slam dunk. Pass down court stolen by say re-stolen by Holy Cross. Crusaders. Uh, time is being called by Holy Cross. Take a heart lead, eight to seven. Four minutes left to play in the first quarter. Here's the call. But it's still very close, and I, I'll tell you, I'm enjoying it uh, right down to my toes when you see a game like this. Okay, Crusaders put the ball in the play. Pass deflected in the fourth court, stolen by Ozzy Majo of Sacred Heart. Majo passes off to Anthony Perry. Perry brings it down over the middle in the fourth court. Hart shooting at the basket far left in the first half here at the Crosby Gym. Over the far side, it goes to Craig Wood. Outside the foster goes to Glenn. Over this side of Perry, set, shoots it up. Good! Anthony Perry, a 25-footer from the side. And the Hearts have the biggest lead of the ball game. Three points. 10-7 the score. In the fourth quarter, pass to Kelly Monroe. Goes into the deep corner. Passes back out to the, uh, Stack. Stack with the ball out in the midcourt to Lombardo. Lombardo looking around. Back over this side to Stack. Now pass deflected and knocked out of bounds and awarded to the Crusaders. <laughs> that meets with a note of disapproval from the Sacred Heart fans here. Pass in stolen by Calvin Glenn and Glenn is fouled by Chris Stack. Not a shooting foul. That's only the first foul of the ball game for Holy Cross. You know, each team now has picked up one foul, one personal foul. Now, Coach Tim McDonald is not going to take too many chances. He's got Kenny Green coming into the ball game to give his team some extra height off the boards. So they got two big men, Kenny Green and Kelly Monroe, for the Crusaders at 6-5 each. And the Hearts move the ball around the perimeter of the outside foul. So now, uh, Henry Brown turns, shoots it up. No good. The rebound picked up by... Holy Cross, Kelly Monroe. Monroe to Lombardo. Lombardo brings it down in the forecourt. Pass over the far side to Steve Northrop. Cross court over the side comes to Bob Kenny. A 10 foot jumper by Kenny is missed. Rebound is batted around. Picked up by Anthony Perry. Fast breaking all the way down the middle. And he is fouled. Fouled by Steve Northrop. Anthony Perry, when he gets loose out there, he can go like the wind extremely fast and he had two men guarding him he went between both of them and Steve Northrop picked up the personal foul on the play oh Anthony Perry will take two foul in the act of shooting first shot is up and good Hearts lead by four 11 to seven uh, Ali did mention that Anthony Perry has had trouble sinking his fouls from the free throw line all year and tonight, however, he makes both of them. Might be a little added incentive there. Hearts lead by five, 12 to seven. In the fourth court come the Crusaders. Monroe, jump shot in the side, short, rebound. Is rolling, it was picked up by Kenny. Shoots it up and off the side. Follow-up shot is missed. Another follow-up shot is good by Kelly Monroe. All the Crusaders had three in a row there. Long pass in the fourth court to uh, Henry Brown. Brown into Ozzie Majel. Majel to Calvin Glenn. Glenn loses the ball. Ozzie Majel picks it up. Pass over the far side. Picked up by Henry Brown. He stepped on the baseline. All the Crusaders will take over in the backcourt. That's four turnovers for Sacred Heart here in the first quarter. It's a none for the Crusaders. And as Ali often mentions, the Crusaders play that very steady type of basketball. Pass outside over the far side. Steve Northup shoots it up, misses. Rebound picked up by Calvin Glenn. Lead pass down court to Anthony Perry. Perry to Wood for to Dickens. Dickens to uh, Glenn. Glenn shoots and misses. Rebound picked up by Henry Brown. Pass off to Dickens, who's in the ball game. Dickens pass into Henry Brown. Goes in underneath, banks it up, and he is fouled. 
Foul was committed by Kelly Monroe. That's his first, second team foul, third team, third team foul for the Crusaders. 12 to 9, the score of this ball game. Sacred Heart leads by three. A minute 29 left to go in the first quarter. From the Crosby Gym, all the action coming away over WATR Radio, Waterbury's first station. At the free throw line, Henry Brown. Going to take a pair, fall in the act of shooting. First shot is up, bad off the side. No good. Henry will get another. I'd like to thank everybody for those cards and letters sent me on my 42nd anniversary in the radio broadcasting last week. Second shot is missed by Henry Brown. So Crusaders get the ball and go on the offensive with a chance to get to within a point. In the fourth court, Kelly Mano driving underneath. He is fouled. Kelly Monroe will go to the free throw line for a pair for the Crusaders. Foul is committed by Henry Brown. Kelly Monroe is a better than average foul shooter. To the best of my knowledge, he very rarely misses. Shoots the first one up and hits the rim. Threw it a mile high in the air. Hit the back rim. Henry overshot the basket a little bit that time. Or, uh, or Kelly, I should say. Second shot by Kelly. High one again. Again, it hits the back rim. Rebounds picked up by Anthony Perry. Perry brings the ball down over the middle of the forecourt. Outside the foul circle. Stops. Passes cross court over this side to Fernando Dickens. Now to Calvin Glenn. Glenn's pass is stolen by Ken Green. That's five turnovers for the Hearts. Hearts are trying to pass off underneath. Get the ball in close. And the Crusaders got the basket pretty well packed. Pretty hard to pass that ball in that mess of people. Underneath, Kelly Monroe shoots it up. No good. Gets his own rebound. Shoots it up again. And good. 12 to 11. Kelly Monroe. Very, very, uh, there's a bank shot up and missed by Calvin Glenn. The rebound picked up by Dave Franks. Anthony Perry set, shoots it up and good. Anthony Perry from outside the foul circle. And he has eight points in tonight's ball game. 14 to 11 the score. Hearts lead the Crusaders by three. 22 seconds left to go in the first quarter. In the fourth court come the Crusaders. Pass into Kenny Green. Trying the baseline. He can't get by. Pass it back out to Lombardo out in the midcourt. Over the side, it comes to Bobby Kenny. Kenny with the ball goes into the corner. Now passes off to Kevin to Kelly Monroe. Shoots it up, misses. Rebound by Calvin Glenn. Four seconds left. Two seconds left. Fernando Dickens to Henry Brown. Shoots it up, but no good as the buzzer sounds. The score at the end of the first quarter is Sacred Heart 14 and Holy Cross. They could have taken shots, but uh, look for a great ball game still. Okay, the center tap at midcourt picked up by Sacred Heart. In the fourth quarter, the ball comes to Calvin Glenn. Glenn passes off to Anthony Perry. Perry dropped the ball and picks it up and goes back out over the far side. Out in the midquarter comes now to Craig Wood over this side to Calvin Glenn. Glenn with the ball holding it. Pass off to Henry Brown. Shoots it up and good. From about 12 feet out in front of the hoop, Henry Brown picks up his sixth point of the ball game. And the, the uh, Hearts lead by five, 16 to 11. Second quarter just getting underway here at the... Crosby Jim in the fourth court. Kelly Monroe gets a pass in the deep corner on the near side. Back out it comes to Lombardo over the far side. It goes to O'Shea, who's come into the ball game. Kevin O'Shea to Steve North around the mid court over this side of Lombardo. Again in the corner to Kelly Monroe. Monroe trying to drive. Closely got it by Henry Brown. Pass off to Lombardo. He set. Shoots it up. No good. Rebound over the far side. Picked up by Calvin Glenn. Glenn to Craig Wood. Fast breaking down over the middle. All the way down. Passes off to Henry Brown. Shoots it up and misses. Follow up shot. Missed. Another follow up shot. Picked up by Henry Brown. He shoots it up and he is called traveling. Okay, Crusaders ball. O'Shea passes into Northrop. Northrop to back to O'Shea, still in the backcourt. Over the far side it goes to Northrop. Now Northrop quickly has got to get back into the forecourt before, and he passes and the ball goes out of bounds. The first turnover for the Crusaders. And the Hearts will put it into play in the backcourt. Taking it out is Dave Franks. Passes into Anthony Perry. Perry brings it down over the middle. Gets it in the forecourt. Crusaders set up their 2-1-2 zone defensively. Outside the foul circle. Now the pass to Craig Wood over the far side to Perry. He set, shoots it up. No good. Gets his own rebound. Passes off to Craig Wood. Outside the foul circle. Wood to Perry. Or to Calvin Glenn deep on the midcourt. 
Over the far side it goes to Wood in the corner. Wood pass off underneath to uh, Dave Franks lays it up and in. Nice pass by Craig Wood and Dave Franks shook himself loose for that easy layup. The kind the coaches love in the fourth court Kenny Green quickly with the ball. Pass off to Frank Lombardo. Hearts with their biggest lead of the ball game now seven points 18 to 11. In the fourth quarter to the far side Kevin O'Shea. Pass outside the foul circle out in midcourt now over this side it comes in the corner to uh, Monroe shoots it up misses a rebound by Calvin Glenn Glenn to Craig Wood Wood with the ball quickly down over the middle in the forecourt outside the foul circle slows it down bounce pass over the far side to Anthony Perry Perry with the ball underneath to Dave Frank Frank lays it up and no good rebound knocked out of bounds and awarded to Sacred Heart. 537 left to go on the first half from here in the Crosby gym over WATR. The Hearts lead by 7, 18 to 11. The pass comes into Brown. Outside the foul circle, it goes to Wood. Cross coat over the far side to Calvin Glenn. In the corner now to Anthony Perry. Perry comes out of the corner, looking around. Pass out in the midcourt to Wood. Over this side to Calvin Glenn. Back to uh, Craig Wood. Over this side to Glenn. Glenn starts to drive. Can't get by. Passes again. The pass is stolen by the Crusaders. And that constitutes another turnover for the Hearts. Seven turnovers for Sacred Heart in this first half so far. They had 17 in the last ball game against Holy Cross in the first half. And that, of course, hurt them. Holy Cross with the ball. They've only had one turnover. Long shot on the outside. Missed. Rebound picked up by Lombardo. He shoots it up. Misses. Rebound picked up by Henry Brown. Brown to Perry. Perry driving all the way in. Stuffed it. Anthony Perry. Only six feet. And he slam dunked the ball. Believe it or not. And the Hearts lead by 9, 20 to 11. Crusaders, Crusaders with the ball in the forecourt. Over the far side. O'Shea to Ken Green. Outside the Lombardo. He sets, shoots it up. No good. Rebound picked up by Sacred Heart. Calvin Glenn to Craig Wood. Long pass down court to Henry Brown. Brown with the ball. Closely got it. Had a mind to shoot momentarily, decided not to. Pass back out to Anthony Perry. On the midcourt, it goes to Craig Wood. Wood with the ball over the far side to Calvin Glenn. Glenn with the ball, pivoting around. Closely got it. Double team, passes out. Over this side, it comes to Perry. Perry shoots it up, and no good. Rebound by Holy Cross. With the ball, Kevin O'Shea. Pass off to Lombardo. Long pass in the fourth court corner to Monroe. Monroe shot is up and missed. Rebound by Sacred Heart. Fast break. Anthony Perry in the forecourt. Passes off to Craig Wood. Shoots it up. No good. And the rebound picked up by Lombardo. Long pass down court to Kelly Monroe. He drives in. Shoots it up. And a block in the air. Unbelievable block by Calvin Glenn. I can't believe that block by Calvin Glenn. And the shot that looked like is going in by Kelly Monroe. And Calvin Glenn went about five feet in the air. One of the most fantastic blocks that I've seen in years. Cross. No question about it, Allie. They are hurting, uh, except for Lombardo. Lombardo's made a couple of good ones from the outside, but the rest of the Crusaders are ice cold. We don't want to see that at this time of the year. We're getting ready for state tournament time. Steve Northrop closely got it over the far side by Craig Wood. Pass over this side to Kelly Monroe. Drives in, lays it up, in and out. And again, hard luck, dogs, the Crusaders. That ball was in the hoop and popped out. And the the uh, Hearts get the ball, bring it down court. In the ball game now for Sacred Heart is Chris O'Toole. In the fourth court, Anthony Perry with the ball closely. Got it past his cross court to Carol and Calvin Glenn. He turns, shoots it up, no good. Rebound underneath by O'Toole. Missed. Follow up is good by Henry Brown. Henry Brown has 10 points or 8 points. 22 to 11. The Hearts have doubled the Crusaders' score here in the first half so far. On the midcourt, Lombardo over the far side, passes off to Chris Stack. Or rather, uh, Steve Northrup now has the ball. Now to Bobby Kelly. Kelly with the ball over this side to Stack. Over this side, Stack shoots it up and cleanly throw. One of the very few shots that the Crusaders have made on long, uh, long shots from the outside. <coughs> Pass down court is stolen by the Crusaders. <coughs> 22 to 13, that's the score. Hearts lead, but the Crusaders have the ability to come back. They've got a lot of poise and a lot of scoring potential. In the fourth court, they come over the far side. Northrop has the ball. Two minutes left to go in the first half. Northrop with it, looking around, passes off to Stack. Long shot by Stack. 
Hits the rim, bounds off the rebound on the near side by Lombardo. Lombardo has the ball knocked out of his hands by O'Toole, but he is fouled. That is the third team foul for the Hearts. Not a shooting foul for the Crusaders, as Lombardo was not in the foul in the act of shooting. They put the ball into play from behind their own hoop. Chris Stack takes it out, passes over this side to uh, Steve Northrop. Northrop gets the ball, dribbles out toward midcourt, flips off to uh, Stack, back over the far side to Northrop. Northrop to Stack. Stack's pass is deflected and rolling, goes into the backcourt, and backcourt violation. Call against Holy Cross. One of the very few turnovers the Crusaders have come up with here in the first half. Down over the middle in the fourth court comes Anthony Perry for the Hearts. Pass off to Calvin Glenn. Glenn closely got it by Stack. And there's a foul call. Against Chris Stack, I believe. That is his second. A fourth team foul for the uh, Crusaders. <coughs> Nobody, uh, well, the Crusaders are getting close to the one and one situation. The Hearts take the ball out of bounds in the corner. Pass into O'Toole, over the far side it goes. In the corner, Perry set, shoots it up. Good from the deep corner. Anthony Perry. 12 points for Anthony Perry, who's been pretty hot here in this first half. The Hearts lead by 11, 24 to 13. A minute and 11 left to go, and a foul committed in the forecourt by uh, Sacred Hearts' Dave Franks. That's the Frank's second personal foul, the fourth team foul for the Hearts. So the one and one not in effect as yet for either team, but will be on the next foul committed by both ball clubs. Number 25, Jim Monroe coming into the ball game for second out, replacing uh, for Holy Cross, replacing Bob Kenny. Monroe passes into Lombardo over the far side. It goes to Northrop. Cross court over this side. It comes to Jim Monroe. The ball deflected. It goes into the fourth court. Stole, uh, stolen by second out, re-stolen by the Crusaders. Steve Northrup goes into the forecourt with the ball. In the corner. He hasn't taken too many shots at all yet here in this ball game. Pass to Jim Monroe, cross court. Ball almost stolen, but picked up by Northrup. Rolling on the floor. Pass is stolen and re-stolen by Holy Cross. Oh, that ball has changed hands. Lombardo, a drive-in bank shot is up and good. And a beautiful move by Frank Lombardo. He was fouled on the play. Could be a big three-point play for the Crusaders. Frank Lombardo, not a big lad. He's 5'10". He's a junior. No question about it. This young man is going to be a big cog and Holy Cross machine next year. Lombardo at the free throw line to take one. He shoots it up, misses the rebound. is rolling loose on the floor and out of bounds in the water to Sacred Heart. Hearts lead 24 to 15 with 34 seconds left to go in the first half. Now, Crusaders have gone into a three quarter court press, hoping to stall the Sacred Heart team from freezing the ball. Over the side, it comes into the corner to Henry Brown. Brown just holding the ball in the corner, passes out to Fernando Dickens. Dickens closely got it by Lombardo, pass over the far side to Anthony Perry. Perry, a jump shot on the fly, no good, and there's a foul call. Foul call against Henry Brown. That's his second and the fifth team foul. So Brown, uh, I think it's Kelly Monroe is fouled. He'll go to the free throw line for a one and one. Eleven seconds left to go in the first half. Sacred Heart leads by nine. Monroe has a chance to cut it down to seven. All the action coming away over WATR radio. Waterbury's first station. Monroe's first shot is up and missed. Rebound picked up by Anthony Perry. Lead pass down court to Fernando Dickens. Drives all the way in, lays it up. No good. Follow up shot. Good by Ozzy Major. Two seconds. Potter and Mark. Uh, I, I can't think of his Federico. A pass down court picked up by the Hearts. The shot is up and missed. The rebound fought for underneath. Picked up by Kelly Monroe. In the second half, the Crusaders will be shooting at the basket to our left. And the Hearts will be shooting at the basket to our right. They change baskets at halftime. They change ends of the courts at halftime. In the forecourt now with the ball. Bob Kenny in the 
in the far court. Pass over this side, outside the foul circle, Lombardo. Now Northrop sets, shoots it up, hits the rim, bounds off. Rebound is knocked out of bounds and awarded to Sacred Heart. So the Hearts will have the ball, and the Crusaders have got two men down court now. Lombardo and Northrop trying to put on a press and steal. However, the Hearts get the ball down court very easily. Pass into Calvin Glenn, turn, jump, shoots it up, good. So the Hearts score first blood here to start off the second half and up their lead to 13. Hearts in a three-quarter court press. However, the Crusaders get the ball into the forecourt over the far side corner. Bobby Kenny with the ball, pass out to Northrop on the midcourt of Lombardo over the far side to Stack. Stack to Lombardo over this side to Northrop. Northrop to Monroe. Monroe back out. The ball is deflected. Rolling loose. Picked up by Dave Franks. Franks to Craig Wood. Wood to uh, Perry. Lays it up and in. And the Hearts have now doubled the Crusader score 30 to 15. Hearts still in that full court press. A pass in the fourth court to Kenny. Kenny loses the ball. Picks it up again. Now pass over the far side to Stack in the corner. Back on the midcourt, it comes to Lombardo. Over the far side to Stack, driving the baseline, goes in underneath, and hooks it up, no good. Rebound by Henry Brown. Stack was too far on the long pass down court to Calvin Glenn. Glenn to Perry, lays it up, no good. Uh, rather, Wood had the, uh, the pass in, and there's a foul called against Dave Franks on the play. That is Franks' third personal foul, first team foul here in the second half for the Hearts. Almost two minutes have gone by here in the third quarter here at the Crosby Gym. All the action coming away over WATR Radio, Waterbury's first station, celebrating its golden anniversary, 50 years of service to Waterbury and surrounding area, WATR. In the fourth court, Kenny Monroe with the ball. Goes into the corner, passes back out, out in the midcourt to Lombardo. Over the far side now to Stack. Goes into the corner, passes back out to Lombardo outside the foul circle. The ball is deflected and rolled out of bounds and awarded to the Crusaders. Don't forget another game tomorrow night over WATR as Kennedy meets Crosby. That'll be a big ball game over at the Kennedy Gym. Over this side, Northrop in the corner, shoots it up, been good. Nice shot by Steve Northrop from the deep corner. Long pass down court in the fourth quarter. Calvin Glenn shoots it up on the fly, around the hoop and out. Follow up is good by Henry Brown. Beautiful follow up off the glass by Henry Brown. 32 to 17 the score. Down court come the Crusaders. Monroe shoots it up, misses the layup. The rebound picked up by the Hearts. Fast breaking into the fourth court they go. Henry Brown at the far side in the corner to Perry. Back out it comes to Craig Wood outside the foul circle. Wood with the ball, closely guarded by Northrop. Passes over the fire. The ball is deflected, picked up by Perry out near midcourt. Perry with the ball, closely guarded by Lombardo now. Pass over this side of Calvin Glenn. Glenn to Brown. Brown driving in, lays it up. Good! Henry Brown is using the glass tonight off the boards and he hasn't been doing that for many games this season and he's making those layup shots go in in the fourth court Monroe misses the rebound up and good by Bobby Kenny 34 to 19 that's the score 440 left to go in the third quarter Sacred Heart leading by 15 in the fourth court. Anthony Perry over the side of Calvin Glenn. Closely got it. Passes off to Perry. Perry with a jump shot on the fly. Hits the rim. Bounds off. Rebound underneath. Picked up by the Hearts. As uh, Dave Franks came up with the ball. And there's a foul call. Franks passed off. There's a foul call against Bobby Kenny for blocking. Not a shooting foul. That is Kenny's first. The first team foul for the Crusaders here in the second half. Hearts will take the ball out of bounds from behind their own hoop. The pass comes in to Brown. Out, out around the foul circle over the side of Perry. Shoots it up around the hoop and out. Rebound. Foot four picked up by Calvin Glenn. Back to Perry. Hearts are working hard off those boards, both offensively and defensively. Now getting second and third shots, something they did not get in the first game. There's Perry driving the baseline. Lays it up and in. Or rather, Craig Wood. That was Craig Wood. Wood wears 22. Perry 33. <laughs> And sometimes when they're moving fast, pretty hard to see those numbers, especially at an angle. 36-19, that's the score. In the forecourt with the ball. Chris Stack, closely guarded. Passes cross court over this side of Northrop. He's got room, set, shoots it up and good. You cannot give Steve Northrop room when he starts to hit from the outside. He can be deadly. He's got a beautiful, pure outside set shot. 
In the fourth court come the Hearts now, leading by 15 again. Calvin Glenn over the far side to Perry. Set, shoots it up, hits the rim, bounds off. Rebound picked up by the Crusaders. Lombardo, fast breaking, down over the middle, in the forecourt, still going, all the way in, lays it up, no good. Rebound, fought for, and a jump ball. 36-21, to 21, Sacred Heart leading with 3 minutes, 18 seconds left to go in the third period here at the Crosby Gym. A big rematch between these two ball clubs. The tap is batted around on the main court, picked up by Steve Northrop, so the Crusaders maintain control. Northrop to Lombardo. Lombardo over the far side. Bounce pass in the corner to Stack. Outside it comes to Monroe. Set, shoots it up, and good. Kelly Monroe finally hits from the outside. Cuts the Sacred Heart lead down to 13. A pass to Henry Brown. Lays it up, no good. Rebound picked up by Kelly Monroe. Monroe to Northrop. Northrop in the forecourt. Goes in, comes back out, now turns around. Pass off to uh, Stack. Stack to Monroe. Ball is stolen by Henry Brown. Brown to Craig Wood. Wood driving all the way in. Banks it up and good. What a move by Craig Wood. And again, the Hearts lead by 15, 38 to 23. 2.34 left to go in the third quarter. Crusaders with the ball in the backcourt. Lombardo with it. Bounce pass over the side into the fourth court to Northrop. Northrop on the near side. Back out of midcourt to Lombardo. Hearts set up the 2 1 2 zone defensively. Over the far side, he goes in the corner to Stack. High arcing shot by Stack. Missed. Rebound by Calvin Glenn. Land to Perry. Perry with the ball. Slowly down over the middle in the forecourt. Now he goes outside the foul circle. Pass over the side in the corner to Glenn. Glenn to Brown. Brown turns. Shoots it up. No good. Rebound. It's picked up by Kelly Monroe. <coughs> Monroe in the backcourt. With the ball. Still in the backcourt. Now pass off to north. Of, still in the backcourt. Now to Lombardo. Still in the backcourt. And Lombardo finally gets down over the middle. In the forecourt over the far side. He goes into the corner to Stack. Stack to Northrop outside the foul circle over this side. It comes to Monroe. Monroe on the near side now. The stack in the corner. Back out it comes outside the foul circle over the far side of Monroe. Sets, shoots it up. Misses. Rebound. Is batted around. Rolling this. Picked up by Anthony Perry. Lead pass down court to Henry Brown. And he stuff dunks it. Henry Brown stuff dunks the ball. And the Hearts lead by 17, 40 to 23. And what a hand they're getting from their fans. Timeout is called by Timmy. So a lot of time left to go. A minute 28 in the third quarter, a full eight minutes in the fourth quarter. Crusaders get the ball in the fourth court. Oh, they make the ball stolen by Anthony Perry. Drives in, lays it up, good. Anthony Perry with a steal right on their midcourt. And that gives the Hearts a 19 point lead, 42 to 23. Unbelievable the way these teams of uh, the Sacred Heart team has turned about. So different than the first ball game we saw earlier this year here at this Crosby Gym. In the fourth court come the Crusaders. Lombardo, long shot, shoots it up and good from the outside of the foul circle. 54 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Hearts lead by 17. Calvin Glenn, a jump shot up and missed. Rebound underneath, picked up by Kelly Monroe. And the Crusaders have the ball. Monroe to Lombardo, brings it straight down the middle, over midcourt, into the forecourt, over the side of Steve Northup. Crusaders have got to start popping that ball through the hoop now. North of sets, shoots it up. Good. So the Crusaders making a little comeback of their own, but they got a long way to go yet. 15 points behind with 24 seconds left to go in the third period. Over this side, the ball deflected, knocked out of bounds by Jim Monroe, who has come into the ball game for Holy Cross. 19 seconds left to play in the third period. Hearts lead by 15. Pass comes into Dave Franks. Franks back to Perry. Perry closely got it by Lombardo. Flips cross court to Calvin Glenn. Glenn pivoting around, banks it up, and misses a follow up shot. Is good by Dave Franks. Five seconds, four seconds. Ball stolen by Glenn. Lays it up and good. One second. Calvin Glenn stole the ball. And the Hearts lead by 19 going into the fourth and final period. Here's Rick O'Connor. I think it's going to be a long time before Sacred Heart has a chance of beating Holy Cross in basketball again. Okay, Allie. Well, the tap in midcourt set off the fourth quarter is picked up by Sacred Heart. Anthony Perry with the ball to Henry Brown. Shoots up the side. No good. The rebound underneath. The foul call against Ozzy Major for pushing off. That is Ozzy's first personal, the second team foul for the Hearts. So the one and one, still a long way off. 
for either team in this second half. Fourth quarter had just gotten underway. Crusaders of the ball. Pass over the far side to Kenny Green. Shoots it up and misses. Rebound picked up by Ozzy Major. Passes off to Brown. Brown to Craig Wood. Wood quickly in the forecourt goes in, comes back out. Closely got it by Northrop. Now passes cross court over the far side to Calvin Glenn. Over the side it comes to Anthony Perry. Hart shooting of the basket to our right here in the second half. Now to Craig Wood. Now to Calvin Glenn. Turn, shoots it up. Good! Calvin Glenn with a twisting jumper and the hearts can do no wrong tonight. Long pass down court to Green. Green has the ball stolen by Ozzy Major. Ozzy Major came down and actually stole the ball as Green put it on the floor and the hearts come back down court offensively again. A pass and a give and go to Calvin Glenn. Lays it up and in. And the hearts are really making a route of this ball game. Unbelievable. 50 to 27. 6.52 left to go in the ball game, and Sacred Heart has a very commanding lead over the far side. Pass, ball knocked out of bounds. Foul call against Ozzie Major. That is his second, the third team foul for the Hearts. Not a shooting foul as yet. Crusaders have put the ball into play in the forecourt at the far side. Jim Monroe coming into the ball game, passes in to Lombardo. Lombardo to Monroe. His shot is blocked, knocked out of bounds by Henry Brown. Ozzy Major comes out of the ball game for Sacred Heart. Coming back in is Dave Franks. 50 to 27. Hearts lead. In the forecourt, Lombardo shoots it up and good. A nice 10 footer by Frank Lombardo. Makes it a 50 29 ball game. Pass down court. And the ball is lost out of bounds by the Hearts. So the Crusaders will take it over. That's the first turnover for the Hearts in the second half. Remember, they had 17 turnovers in the first half of the last ball game played between these two clubs. That most assuredly made a big difference in the ball game. A shot by Kenny Green on a twisting jumper is good. 50 to 31. Long pass down court to Henry Brown. Banks it up, lays it up, follow up. No, it's good by Calvin Glenn. And Glenn was fouled on the play. Henry Brown missed his bank layup. However, Calvin Glenn. Came in from the other side, picked up the ball as it came off the boards, laid it up and in, fouled on the play O'Shea. by Kevin O'Shea. Calvin Glenn will go to the free throw line to see if he can make it a three point play. The Hearts lead by 21. Now they lead by 22. 18 points, or 13 points for Calvin Glenn. Hearts lead by 22, 53 31. Six minutes and five seconds left to go on the ball game. Crusaders have really got their work cut out for them here tonight if they want to get back into close contention. Jim Monroe over the side, outside the foul circle to, to uh, Steve Northrop. Northrop looking around. Hart's got a 2 1 2 zone defensively. Over the far side it goes to Jim Monroe. Shoots up the corner. No good. Rebound by Calvin Glenn to Craig Wood. Driving all the way in. Banks it up and good. 55 to 31. 535 left to go on the ball game. The Hearts are making a shambles out of Holy Cross in this ball game, and they're really getting some sweet revenge. Okay, play resumes. Shot on the outside by Steve North of his miss. Rebound picked up by Henry Brown. Brown to Perry. Perry driving in the forecourt all the way in, comes back out again. Closely got it by Northrop, driving over the far side. Pass off to Brown in the corner at the far side. Brown holding the ball. Pass it out. The ball's deflected out of bounds at the far side by Northrop. It'll be the Hearts ball out of bounds at the far side at midcourt. Five minutes, 13 seconds left to go in the ball game. Perry pass into Calvin Glenn. Glenn being double teamed, pass off to Craig Wood. Wood in the forecourt now, closely got it by Northrop. Crusaders hanging in there, trying very, very fiercely to get back into close contention. Pass into Glenn, shoots it up. Good! From 10 feet out at the front of the hoop. And the Hearts are just not to be denied tonight. They're doing everything right. Calvin Glenn has 15 points in tonight's ballgame. In the forecourt, there's a foul called against the Hearts. Dave Franks. The score, in case you join us a little late, you may not believe it, is Sacred Heart 57, Holy Cross 31. That is the fourth personal foul for Dave Franks in tonight's ballgame. And the fourth team foul also. However... Kenny Green was following the act of shooting, so he'll go to the free throw line to take a pair for the Crusaders. 
451 left to go in the game. Hearts lead by 26 points. Shot is up and good by Kenny Green. Kelly Monroe, Ali just informed me, has been held to six points in this ball game. That may be his lowest output of the season to date. Well, the ball game, of course, is not over. Second shot by Kenny Green is good. And the Crusaders now trail by 24, 57 to 33. And a fourth foot Perry pass over the far side to Glenn. Glenn to Craig Wood outside the foul circle. Over the far side to Glenn. Glenn pivoting around to Perry outside the foul circle. Perry underneath to uh, Glenn. Over the head layup. Lays it in. Unbelievable shot by Calvin Glenn. He has now 17 points. A beautiful pass from Anthony Perry and Calvin Glenn made one of those unbelievable shots in the fourth court. Kelly Monroe banks it up and good. 59 35. 59 35. That's the score with four minutes and eight seconds left to go in the ball game. Anthony Perry with the ball closely got it by Frank Lombardo gets it down over the middle of the fourth court over this side it comes to Craig Wood. Wood with the ball outside the foul circle. Passes off to Calvin Glenn. Glenn driving over the near side. Drives the baseline all the way and hooks it up underneath and good again. Another fantastic shot by Calvin Glenn with 19 points in tonight's ball game. In the forecourt with the ball. Steve Northrup has over this side of Monroe. Set, shoots up a high hocker. No good. Rebound over the far side. Goes into the corner. Knocked out of bounds and awarded to the Crusaders. Three minutes, 37 seconds left to go in the game. Sacred Heart leads 61 to 35. One of the most lopsided ball games the Crusaders have been in all season long. And I know they're not enjoying it, but by all means, the Sacred Heart team is certainly enjoying it. In the forecourt, Steve Northrup with the ball, passing over the side, in the corner of Stack. He said, shoots it up and good. Nice shot by Chris Stack from the deep corner on the near side. Gives the Crusaders their 37th point of the ball game. Down over the middle of the fourth quarter, Anthony Perry closely got it by Lombardo. Hearts decide they want a timeout with 3.15 left to go on the game. Globally way to sports crew this week, of course, including tonight's game. There's a pass into Henry Brown. Brown out near midcourt with the ball to Anthony Perry. And don't forget, fans, we're telling you now, there are some two big ball games to wind up the season. Kennedy Holy Cross, Kennedy Sacred Heart. Last two games of the season here locally. Perry has he, he is fouled as he went down the middle. Looked like he's fouled in the act of shooting. We'll wait for the officials to make the decision. Anthony Perry was fouled in the act of shooting. He'll take a pair. 61 37. Sacred Heart and a resounding comeback against Holy Cross. Shooting the ball up and missing is Anthony Perry. 259 left to go in the ball game. We notice uh, Bishop Rosaza down there on the floor talking to Father Coleman, principal of Sacred Heart. I wonder who gave who the blessing. <laughs> Second shot is good by Perry. 17 points for Anthony Perry. Hearts have got at least three double figure scores. There's a layup shot missed by the Crusaders. Kenny Green follows up with a bank shot, uh, layup shot over the rim to give the Crusaders a 39th point of the ball game. But uh, too uh, few and too late. In the forecourt with the ball, Chris O'Toole for the Hearts. Cross court pass over the far side to uh, Calvin Glenn. Down the middle he goes, shoots it up over the rim, no good. Rebound by Henry Brown is up and good. 16 points for Henry Brown in tonight's ball game. Henry Brown is starting to come up with a point output, and this, of course, augurs well for the Hearts getting close to state tournament time. Shot from the deep corner is good by Chris Tack. Crusaders have 41 points on the scoreboard. However, the Hearts have 20, uh, 64. In the fourth court corner, Henry Brown holding the ball. Pass outside the foul circle to Perry. Shoots it up the foul lane. Good. 19 points for Anthony Perry. The Hearts continue to pour it on here, leading by 25 points again, 66 to 41. In the fourth court, Lombardo shot in the outside is missed. The rebound by Kenny Green is up and good. How many points for Kenny Green, Allie? Eight points for Green. 66-43, that's the score. Hart's leading. Chris O'Toole passes off to Henry Brown in the fourth court corner. Brown starts to drive the baseline, lays it up, and no good. Rebound picked up by Kelly Monroe. Monroe to Lombardo to Chris to uh, Kenny Green, and he is fouled. 
Green will go to the free throw line for a pair. And now Coach Eddie Generale is emptying his bench. A minute 20 left to go. And the Sacred Heart starters getting a standing ovation from their friends here at the Crosby Gym. And they well deserve it. They have certainly played great basketball game tonight against their inner city arch rivals. Kenny Green at the free throw line shooting it up and missing. He'll get another. Hart's leading by a 23 point margin. That's hard to believe. <laughs> now the Sacred Heart fans taking a page out of the Holy Cross book asking Al Vistro who number one is and of course <coughs> in all honesty it's got to be Sacred Heart. They're going to be number one until the Crusaders tie it up and they've got a chance to tie it up because both teams will have three teams in the city will have two losses in the loss department here in the Valley League. In the forecourt, Chris O'Toole with the ball, driving in, loses control of it, picks it up again, shoots it up in front of the hoop, misses, rebound, picked up by the Crusaders. 58 seconds left to go in the ball game. Hart's lead, Polzella in the ball game, passes off to number 24, McGetrick, and there's a foul call. <coughs> foul call against the Hearts. Of course, all this is just uh, academic from here on in. At the free throw line, Dan Amici. You know, that's so close to Don Amici, but this fellow is a lot bigger than Don Amici ever dreamed of being, Ali. Shot in the foul line by Dan Amici is missed. He's only a sophomore, I believe, and he's six feet five inches tall. Second shot by Amici is good. 66 45, that's the score. Both teams have emptied their benches now, got their reserves in there. In the forecourt with the ball. Hart's with it over the side. Lance Brown has the ball in the corner. Closely got it. Passes off to uh, John Massimo. To Lance Brown. He said, shoots it up, hits the rim, bounds off. Rebound picked up by Jerry Polzella. Polzella in the forecourt. Passes off. Layup shot is missed. Follow up is good by Polzella. 22 seconds left to go. 20 seconds left to go in the game. The JVs. Finishing up with a mop up operation here at the Crosby Gym tonight. In the forecourt. <laughs> Layup shot in the forecourt missed. And there's a jump ball call with four seconds left to play. 66 to 47. <laughs> the Hearts were not to be denied tonight. They played an outstanding basketball game. Pass. Layup shot missed by the Hearts. Rebound is up and good. But I don't know if a basket will count as the buzzer sounded. A basket will count. I don't know who made that basket. Oh, there are so many hands up there. But the final score, Sacred Heart 68, Holy Cross 47. 